Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of The Lies of P. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to continue on our adventure through the city of Krat. But before we do, let's go ahead and talk about everything I did off screen. And I did absolutely nothing besides listen to the record. And that's it. All right. With that all being said, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to go find the... Um, what's it called? The Vanini's like encrypted thing, the decipher or whatever. I already know where it's at. I found it in a prior video, but we're going to go over here regardless. Go ahead and turn our lantern on and what I meant by we found it in a prior video is in one of the videos that got corrupted that's all I was talking about I said it in a weird way which is normal for me take out all these puppets that way we don't have to worry about them Oh yes, jumping through walls. Merking these fools. Of course, I am way over leveled for this area. We're not even going to bother with that guy. But if we come over here, we've seen that the picture was showing off Hotel Crot. I see Hotel Crot. I do love this view. It is a nice view, but we must be moving. I must not have come over here before. So, uh, just because I was rushing to try to restart a new character. Let's go ahead and search the ground. We get the Atoned hunting attire along with a legion gear or cog whatever it is and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to the opera house I'll see everybody over there what I'm gonna do is just teleport to the hotel and then go to the opera house Okay, made it back to the opera house. Now it's time to move forward. I don't know where that is playing from. Those dogs really suck. What? 
What's going on? All these puppets look utterly down, depressed even. And that seems weird. That's weird, right? Absolutely, Jiminy. It is super weird. With their king dead, they... They seem lost. Then again, maybe... Maybe they're mourning him? Whatever's happening. It's like they can't tell their elbow joints from their tail sockets. I'm not even sure they can function without the king to guide them. Some more crescent moonstones. I killed him. Some more crescent moonstones. Clock sword blade. Combo on that lady. Although she gave us 900 ergo, so that's nice. Take this dog out first. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Doesn't look like it. Okay, now we can open this up. Time to switch out our weapon to the uh, fire dagger and I'm going to take this off and maybe put on some thermite, put 
that on. And maybe that. Those things are so creepy right here. I have not had them grab me, but I do not want to find out what they do if they do grab you. Or maybe it sounds better, what happens if they do grab you? We'll have to unlock that a little later. This place can be a little confusing. Get turned around real easy. Can't open that up yet. We need a key for it. Oh yeah, one of these things. Man, I am getting a ton of crescent moons. I don't think there's anything else over here. No, there's just a shortcut that we can open up a little later. Okay, now that we have the key, we can go back to the door that we weren't able to open earlier over here come on bud Oh yeah, I forgot. Those guys explode. Be careful after you kill them, they like explode with decay. Well, I guess not everyone. Oh yeah. Big lady throwing shit at me.
Careful of the dolls. Matter of fact, let's do this just for a second. I did get a trophy for killing that um, the first time. I forget what the trophy was. I apologize to everybody. Again, I said it a, a bunch in the last video, but my stuff got corrupted. So all the videos that I recorded ended up getting lost. Oh, one of those things. Uh, I fell so far. So far. Did not want to fall that far. Let's kill that uh, doll or puppet or robot. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, come on. That was some bullshit. That shouldn't have hit me. That thing coming for me. I hope not. I hear it. I just don't know where it's at. so hard and does some dumb shit like that I think those combos are just nonsense, man. Come on down here, bud. I mean, you, you can just step off. I promise. It's okay. What are you doing? Come on. God, let's put that on. So, on the real real, 
we're going to have to keep leveling up our um, capacity because things are just so heavy to put on in this game. I don't know if this is blood or wine because we're in a wine cellar so I'd assume it's wine just kind of spilling out everywhere big dude was down there getting drunk open this up no we cannot we need another key I didn't think we could I was just gonna try for the sake of trying oh yeah these guys these guys are terrifying no lie not that hard it's just they hit really hard can just get behind them and just wail on them they don't do some shit like that that is very intimidating but not very hard and they give you a 900 ergo each time That was close. And he got me. Okay, let's go ahead and give this another shot. Get this big boy's attention. There's one. Just one more to go. ourselves up.
Yeah, so these big boys, they do respawn. You can farm them for good ergo. Totally up to you. I mean, 900 ergo each time you kill them isn't bad. And if you have a stronger weapon, I'm sure it's even better. We can open this up. visitor or a looter who's arrived too late you look like a stalker i figured you were all dead <laughs> no offense stalker visitor looter i don't care just buy what you need and leave has quite a few things to buy i'm only gonna buy this and this from him and you know what these two Can unlock this I want to backtrack for just a moment okay yeah I know where that's at and then over here is So you can just run straight through here. So if you're wanting to farm those guys, you could just come straight over here. And I'm a little lost. I think we need to go this way. And then down over here. I didn't kill the uh, fat lady. I should have. Because now she's going to be in our way. And we want to get over here. One more thing I need to change out. These cog wheels. going the right way? I am not. I get so turned around over here. Just being honest. It's just so windy. Ah, here we go. So it's over here by where the big guys were. Sometimes I feel like the um, dodge mechanic can be tuned up a little bit. Not that it's bad, it just could use a little bit of refining.
Great, I got decay on. Oh my goodness. It's just bad news all around. Let's cure that real quick. Yes, and these do come back, so you have to take care of them really quick if you can. Worry about the butterfly first. Probably stupid, but maybe don't worry about the butterfly first. run through this <laughs> not even trying to fight these guys at this point grab the item oh god oh god oh god no no just run run Pinocchio Pinocchio -kio -kio. go uh, rest at the stargazer real quick and then we'll continue forward this is probably going to be a little bit of a longer episode just like the last one because I want to get through this section Pass. We don't care about that area over there, but we do care about this area. go back over here. I think if we go back over here first, it leads just to an item. Oh my god, I thought she was dead. They're never truly dead, are they? Okay, this is the way of progression. I know that. Just grab this real quick. Get rid of that. And then we'll come up to the top. Open this up. And this will open up a shortcut. Okay, awesome. Awesome possum. Because we're going to need it. Straight to the stargazer over there. As you can tell, we are going to be fighting a robot soon or a puppet. I don't know why I keep calling them robots. Oh, 
Hopefully we can get it our first try. But we want to back up. I have realized it messes all these cages up. And then we're, we're having to fight the robot or the puppet. It'll start breaking those cages open. That went way better than I thought it was going to be. Thank Jeebus. I don't believe that puppet responds either. And then we will put our salamander dagger back on. And I was pretty sure we got some wine over here as well. Isn't the old woman of uh, the uh, venerable lady looking for some wine? You know, like the wine you've got? Absolutely, Germany. Poor guy. Just put him out of his misery. So I believe if we come down this way, we are at the Grand Expedition. And if that's the case, we're going to head back over to um, where that old lady is, give her the wine, and then go back to Hotel Krat and end the video. Let's go back to the Stargazer. Go give the lady some wine. We'll just switch to this weapon here.
Good lord, I've ran this area so many times. Farming, ergo. I could probably do it in my sleep. That's how I got so many throwing cells. Ah, lovely wee. Even in the bottle, it has a distinctive shade of red. Oh, thank you, young one. Every step is a struggle when you have the petrification disease. But this, this glimmer of happier days is priceless. Oh, I almost forgot. Speaking of price. Here's what I can spare. Please, take it. <laughs> and then I think that uh, is wraps up her quest line. Let's go ahead and go back to Hotel Krat. One last thing we want to do is come over here, talk to Vanini's butler. At the house of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. Strike a light. You find a commemorative coin dating from the founding of the Vanini Foundation. The foundation is a sort of fan club sir a very limited number of these were minted for the original members well once master venini established himself as the <clears throat> prince of high society his popularity skyrocketed and his signature coat and glasses were mass produced this is one of the originals however from the limited run take care of it won't you you have restored Master Venini's lost collection. You've earned this small token of appreciation, sir. Thank you. Cool. Got a half moonstone. That'll help us level up our weapon. So I think right here is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video it really does mean so much to me hopefully you all enjoyed it if you did go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you didn't hit the thumbs down button let me know why down in the comments below it only helps the channel also if you enjoy content just like this be sure to subscribe or don't i don't know i'm not your dad do whatever you want and like always everybody have a good morning a good afternoon or a good night Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.